Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this bag here. Um, I got these handles at uh, off an of old bag that I got at the Goodwill store. Um, you can make your own handles though. You don't have to use uh, store-bought ones. Or you can get old handles off uh, resale shop bags and stuff like that. Or you can even, if you don't want to make your own handles, you can buy handles off Etsy and or, uh, eBay and uh, Amazon too. Um, and this, these beads right here are just an old necklace that I also got at the Goodwill store. I just uh, broke it apart and made it into beads. Um, and this stitch is actually really easy. It's just really, t you can see it, it puts a lot of texture. It's really bumpy. But it's not hard to do. So let's go ahead and get started on it. For this project, I am using Red Heart Super Saver. It is a medium worsted weight, 100% acrylic. You do not have to use this brand. Any type of four ply yarn will work. Um, there's 260 yards in this skein and I used all of one skein. I probably had like 12 inches left. So if you're gonna make your own handles, you're gonna need two skeins. Otherwise, if you're gonna buy store bought ones, one will probably be enough for you. Um, and I'm just using the uh, Fleck yarn. And of course you can use any color that you have and then I'm going to be using a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook now we're with the chain of 46 so if you want to follow me you want to make a chain of 46 and what we're going to do is we're going to put one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and now we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch across and for the length of the chain now I already did my big piece so my chain is shorter but you want to make sure you start a chain of 46 if you're doing it like me so one single so one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row and if you're following me when you get to the end you should have a total of 45 single crochets Okay, when you make it to the end, what we're going to do is chain three and turn our work. And that chain three is counting as a double crochet. Now, working in the very next double crochet, not this first one here, but this one, we're going to put five double crochets all into that same stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to work uh, five double crochet together cluster. So it's worked over five stitches and what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. And we're going to do that across five stitches. So that was one. Now we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, Yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. Again, yarn over and go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. Again, yarn over, go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two. So we've done that four times now. We want to do a total of five. So one more time, we yarn over and go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two. And you should have six loops on your hook now. And now we're going to yarn over and go through all six loops. Like that. And then we're going to chain one. And that was a double crochet five together cluster. So now we're going to skip one stitch. Make sure you're skipping this one because I know it looks like this one is the one you skip, but that one's been worked. You can see the stitch in it. So skip the next stitch and work five double crochets into the next. So just five regular double crochets. So the stitch isn't hard. It really, it's not hard at all. Probably looks kind of hard, but it's not. There's five. And now we're going to work our five double crochet cluster together again. We're not going to skip a stitch. We're just going to go ahead and start in the very next stitch. So we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. And yarn over and go through the first two loops. 
We're going to do that five times. So that was one. Now we go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go to the first two loops. That was two. Next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go to the first two. Next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go for the first two. So that was four times. You can see it right there one more time. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, go through the first two, six loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all six, pull it kind of tight, chain one. Now we're going to skip the next stitch. So remember this one has been worked, so that's the knot, and we're going to skip this one. And we're going to work five double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one. Two, three, four, and five. Now we're just going to repeat this until we get to the end of our row. Now we're going to do our five double crochet together again. We're not going to skip a stitch. We're going to start in the very first stitch. So we yarn over, go in, drop a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops. And we want to do that five times. So that was one. Go into the next stitch, two, the next one, three, the next one, four, and the next one is five. So you should have six loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and yarn over and go through all six loops. Pull it kind of tight and chain one. Now we're going to skip a stitch. We chained one. We're going to skip the stitch here and work five double crochets into the next. Now we're just going to repeat this pattern that we've been doing all the way until you get to the end of your chain. Okay, when you make it to the end, I just did a five double crochet together cluster. You should have three stitches left. And we're going to skip one and we're going to put five double crochets into the second to the last stitch. Five all in that same stitch. That's five. And then we're just going to put one double crochet into the last stitch. And that ends row two. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen clusters. Thirteen fans, clusters, whatever you call them. But that'll end row two. For row three, we're just going to chain three and turn our work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a five double crochet together cluster across these five double crochets that were made right here. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into that first one. Drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two. We're going to do that across these first five stitches. Like that, six loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all six. Pull it kind of tight, chain one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five double crochets and we're gonna do it right here in this eye of these of this cluster. So, write this in this tight little spot right there. We need to put five double crochets right there. I call it the eye of the cluster, I guess five double crochets into that spot like that and now we're going to put a five double crochet together cluster across these five stitches here now this right here doesn't count as a stitch that's part of this cluster make sure you get this we start in this first double crochet over here so you yarn over and you find your first double crochet and you start your cluster five all, all the way across these five stitches six 
six loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all six, kind of pull it tight, chain one. Now, now we're going to put the five double crochets right here in this little tiny eye of this of the next cluster. So not in this big spot here and not in that big spot there. Put this little tiny spot right here. Right there. Five double crochets all through that spot. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do our five double crochet five together cluster across these next five stitches. And remember to get the first double crochet. Just remember this is not the first double crochet. That's part of the cluster. So right over here. And then you do your cluster. And we're just going to repeat this until we get to the end of the row. Six loops, go through all six, chain one, and then now we're going to do five double crochets right here in this little tiny eye of this cluster. And I'm just going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of my row. Okay, I'm coming to the end. And I'm going to do, my last here is going to be the five double crochet together cluster. Like that. Chain one. And then we're just going to do one double crochet into the top of this chain three. And that'll end row three. And you still should have... 13 clusters. You should always have 13 clusters. And you can see that some of these are starting to pop out. That's what kind of makes it unique. Like every other little cluster area kind of pops. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it real good in the picture that I showed in the bag, but like that. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to kind of repeat what we've been doing. We're going to chain three and turn our work. And now this time we're going to start in this little bitty tiny eye of this star and we're going to put five double crochets in it. This is row four that we're starting. Five right into that stitch. So we got that chain three and then we did the five into that little eye of that little uh, cluster and now we're going to do our double crochet five to go like Five together across these next five stitches. Remember, this is not a stitch. Make sure you get this first double crochet here and start in that one. Oops. There's five, six loops on my hook. Go through all of them, chain one, and then five double crochets into that little bitty tiny eye of the star or eye of the cluster little bitty tiny spot here five double crochets and now double crochet five together cluster over these next five stitches and we're just going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of row four. Just like that. Chain one. And then the eye right there, that little bitty tiny spot. Five double crochets. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row four. And I'm just, I did a cluster here. And I'm going to put five double crochets in this little bitty eye of that cluster and then I'm going to end row four by putting a double crochet into the top of this chain three just like that 
So now it's just a repeat of rows three and four. That's all we're going to do. This is a repeat. And you can see it makes a really unique texture. I really like it. I think it's cool. That way it pops up like that. And the more rows you do, it'll look even neater. They'll start popping up even more. But you just repeat row three and four. So you just chain three like we did on row three. And then you do your cluster and your five doubles in the eye and a cluster. So just keep repeating rows three and four. And you want to do that for a total of 30 rows. And that is counting that very first row of single crochet. That counts as row number one. So three and four for a total of 30 rows. Okay, once you get the 30 rows done, remember that's counting the first row of single crochet that we did. I'm gonna do one more row of single crochet at, at the top here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chain one and then turn my work. And now I'm just gonna go across the top. I'm gonna put one single crochet back into that same stitch. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch here across the top. So I'm working in these here five doubles. And then when you get to this um, double crochet five together, you can just put a single crochet right there into that same spot where we would normally work. And then just jump over here to this next set of five. And one single crochet in each of those. And then right here in this little spot where single crochet there. Then jump over here to these five. One single crochet in each of those. And you just want to do that until you get to the other side. Okay, when you make it here to the end, let's put a, uh, one last single crochet into the top of this chain three. And now I'm gonna tie off, but I'm going to leave a long tail so I can sew my sides up with a yarn needle. So I got a long tail here. Now, they both sides look the same to me, so there's not really, I don't think, any right or wrong way. But if there's one side that you like better, make it face out. That way when you're done sewing it together, you can flip it inside out. And the right side will be facing you, and the seam will be on the inside. But to me, they kind of both look the same, so I'm not really going to worry about that. But I'm going to use my yarn needle. And I'm going to fold my piece in half. And line them up. And I'm just going to neatly sew it together. I'm going to go back and forth. You can go over if you want. But I'm just going to go kind of back and forth. Now I'm going to do it as neatly as I can. Make sure you keep your rows lined up. That's important. Like that. You can see just making sure each row is lined up like that when you go, when you work down it. That way it don't look crooked, your seam. Just sew it as neatly as you can. All the way down both sides. Like I said, just to make sure that you keep these lined up. You can kind of see how I, I kind of put my finger there. That way I know that this one's staying in line. 
Oh. Mess that up. But I'm going to keep working, sewing this all the way down until I get down to, to the bottom and I'll tie that off. And then I'm going to sew the other side. Okay, once you get your sides sewed up, you can just flip it um, inside out. And then your seam isn't really even visible that bad. It's not. It made a pretty, pretty clean seam. So now I'm going to work around the top. Now the number of stitches you round, that we that you have around the top is not. It doesn't matter. It's you don't have to have the exact same amount as me. I'm not even going to count mine. I don't even know how many I have. So stitch count doesn't matter anymore. It's still going to look good regardless how many stitches you have. So what we're going to do is to start in any stitch and chain one. And now I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way across the top or all the way around the top. Just like that. When you make it over here to the area of the seam when you're going around the top of single crochet, it just when you get to the seam, just skip over it. So there's a last single crochet on this side, and just jump over here to the first stitch on this side and single crochet. And just work continue working one single crochet in every stitch all around the entire top until you get back to where we started. Okay, once you make it back over here to where you started, you're gonna need a stitch marker. And I'm just gonna use this piece of yarn here. So I'm gonna, here's where I started and here's my last stitch. So I'm gonna put my stitch marker right there. That way I know where I end and where I begin. So now I'm gonna do some decreases. So I'm gonna do five single crochets in a row and then I'm going to do a single crochet decrease. So I'm just go ahead and, going to go ahead and jump over here to the first single crochet. Not that chain one we did, but the first single crochet. And remember the amount of stitches that you have right now, it doesn't matter. It's still going to look like mine regardless. And that's going to be my first single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and five and now I'm going to do a single crochet decrease and if you're not familiar with that you just go into the next stitch and draw up a loop and then you go into the next one and draw up a loop and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to go through all three loops on your hook and that's going to turn two stitches into one and now we're going to do five single crochets in a row again there's one two three four, five, and then the single crochet decrease. Go into the next stitch, drop a loop, and then you go into the next one, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Now we're gonna just keep repeating that all the way around. I want this through, and it's just gonna make the top, like the brim of the bag, a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna do five single crochets in a row again. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And then a single crochet decrease. I'm gonna go into the next stitch to, to draw up a loop. And then the next one to draw up a loop and yarn over and go through all three loops on your hook. So I'm gonna keep repeating that. Five single crochets in a row and then a single crochet decrease until I get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it all the way around, you just go ahead and finish out your uh, your pattern, no matter how many stitches you, you have left. Like, I just did a, de a decrease, and I have two stitches left, but you may have more or less, because remember, we're not worrying about the stitch count up here. So just go ahead and finish out what you have, and then go ahead and move your stitch marker up once you get back around to it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat that row one more time. So I'm gonna put, five single crochets in a row. It's one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to do a single crochet decrease. 
So I'm going to go into the next stitch, drop a loop, and then the next one, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. So I'm just repeating the row that we just did. We're doing another row of decreases. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five, and then decrease. Go into the first stitch and drop a loop. Go in the next one, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. So just repeat the last row one more time until you get back around here to your stitch marker. Okay, when you make it around after that row of decreases, just go ahead and finish out your repeat again like we just did until you get to your stitch marker. Go ahead and pull it up. Now what I'm going to do is just two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm not going to be decreasing anymore. I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch two times around. So one single in every stitch until I get to my stitch marker and then I'll move my stitch marker up and I'll go around one more time with one single in every stitch. Okay, once you make it around after the two rows of one single crochet in every stitch and you're back at your stitch marker, just go ahead and slip stitch into that next stitch. And then you can tie that off and take that stitch marker out. You don't need that anymore. Clip your yarn and hide that tail. Now pretty much all that's left is to um, put your handles on. Now if you want to make your own handles, you can just make them however you want. This bag will look good with one long one or two short ones. But I showed you in the beginning, I, I got these two handles here, which I'm going to sew on with my yarn needle. And I'm just going to eyeball it, and I'm just going to sew them on like that. It's my yarn needle and um, a piece of matching yarn. And you can use any type of handle that you have. So you can be creative as you want however you want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my handle sewed on real quick. Okay, I got my handle sewed on and then I just shrunk some beads on it and that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, if you make this or anything else, uh, don't forget you can post a picture of it on my Facebook page and I really like to see it. I'll put a link to that to that below in the, in the description box. And you can check me out on Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter and Etsy. I'll put links to all that stuff below. And until next time, have a good day.